the ordeal of nigerians and other african nationals caught in the web of national slave trade in libya has continued to send shock waves across the world there has been reports of africans being sold and resold for upward of 400 dollars with several dying in the process the, the pushaman that put me from nigeria i gave him money did not pay so they said this is not paid he did not pay that money they now sold me so i was there for eight months before i could pay my money and i went out if you look at most of the people here if you check their body you see the mark they're beating with the electric even your boot or they took something something like a sharp object understand most of them lost their life there Many are dying every day. Going back home now, I'm totally frustrated. I don't know where to start from. Because I spent my life savings leaving the country. You understand? While many Libyans regard the thriving trade in slave as a lucrative business, other African governments, the European Union and the United Nations are moving in, not only to stop the trade, but to also tackle the humanitarian crisis associated with it. The federal government said that it had so far identified 2,778 Nigerians trapped in Libyan detention camps. Of this figure, it said 250 would be repatriated as part of the 250 that are repatriated every week. So far, the government said 3,000 have returned from Libya and enclave. Nigerians react to this slave trade while this age and time, as well as what could be the possible way forward. Other nations, that's the way I'm seeing it. And because of, uh, you know, lack of understanding nobody should be talking about slave trade at this moment at this point in time of civilization nobody should be talking about it but unfortunately if you still want to call it you know slave trade let it be but the issue is that it's a terrible thing is that it's an aberration it's not normal we are in the modern world there's no need for uh, selling your human beings your human beings there are no need for selling them as a slave trade uh, I will say that uh, because of the economy, maybe because of the economic uh, downturn in the African, that is why the trade is still persisting now. I mean, I'm just employing the AU, the African Union, to just stand up against this attitude. So it's not about maybe Nigeria or maybe Nigeria as well. No, it's not about, Afri it's about Africa. They should see it as the problem that is facing Africans and the uh, African Union's people should come up and stand up and stand against this kind of trade. So I would like to hold the American president and all the people living in uh, Libya, especially Nigeria, that they should come back home. This is our country. We have to build it together. That's just it. And uh, Libyans, uh, they should take anything with men with Nigeria. While the government indicated that the repatriation exercise was a continuous exercise, it noted that it would continue to engage the legitimate government in Libya and other stakeholders in addressing the plight of Nigerian migrants in the country. A politics and international relations expert, Dr. Lassisi Balogun, has this to say. I think it's a lesson to us, Nigeria in particular, and uh, Africa in general, that we should take very good care of our own. If we take very good care of our own, you make jobs available for us in our country. Nobody will want to go outside the country to do this manner, uh, kind of labor. According to a report by CNN, Libya has become attractive for this modern trade in migrants and refugees because of its location as a transit point for Africans who try to reach Europe by sea. 150,000 people have tried to cross the Mediterranean Sea from Libya in the last three years. At least 3,000 refugees have paid the supreme price of death while trying to make this dangerous crossing. Shade Sheyojo, BCS News.